Hi, this is Stefan from the Mod3D Tech team. Today we will take a quick look at how to enable Morvis to work with plant simulation in a quick and easy way. Assuming you have already installed Morvis, we can now start. Please start the Morvis server control. You will see a tray icon right next to your system time. Right click it and select properties. In the property window you can enter the IPs of all the visualization clients on your local or remote network or even on the local host using the IP 127.0.0.1. If using multiple clients is mandatory for you, please make sure to give it unique ports to the base of 8, meaning the second client would get the port 8.7.0.8 and the next one would get 8716 and so on. Once you have configured your IPs, it's time to enable Morvis to work with plant simulation. Therefore, launch the Morvis application enabler. Click on Add Application and navigate to your plant simulation directory. Select the plant simulation exe file and click the Enabled checkbox. Click Save and Close. Now you can launch a Morvis client. The Morvis client needs a port configuration too, which you can do in the multi-instance menu. With display number you will configure on which connected display device the client will automatically start in full screen mode. Further, you can configure the ports you have just configured in the property window. Now it's time to start plant simulation. In plant simulation, please click File, Preferences and open the 3D tab. Set OpenGL version to 1.5. Click OK and restart plant simulation. Open a model and we get instant visualization in the Morvis client. You can play back your animations, you can zoom in and zoom out. But that's not enough for us. We want some interaction and therefore I got my Xbox pad. To enable the Xbox pad, you will need to launch the VRPN server for the Xbox pad. It's to be found in the Morbis program group in your Windows start directory. W once the VRPN server has launched, start also the VRPN translator. Enter X input 0 at localhost and keep in mind that it's case sensitive, to ma so make sure you have an uppercase XI on the X input string. Configure your channels the way you want them, or simply use my uh, template, and click connect. Now your Xbox gamepad is connected to the visualization client and you can start flying around your scene inside the Morvis viewer. Another very handy option for the Morvis clients is the general settings tab. Here you can set for instance to anaglyph red cyan mode or you can power a side-by-side -side TV or projector. If no option is selected, Morvis will automatically assume that your PC is equipped with a Quadro or a Fire Pro card and therefore try to use the Quad Buffer output interface. The VRPN server features another very handy feature, which is the eye settings. Here you can configure the strength of the 3D effect and the point on how close objects shall be rendered to your, 
to you. With these settings, all objects closer than 40 centimeters are being clipped out. For the tracker configuration inside the VRPN translator, I recommend to take a look at the Morvis README file. You will find it in your start menu in the Morv3D Morvis program group after installation of Morvis. It's a little complicated in the beginning, but once you've got the hang of it, it'll be done in no time. Please feel free to contact me whenever you need technical assistance, because we're always happy to help. Thank you so much for your attention and see you next time.